Welcome to today's masterclass. My name is Lisa Richter and I will be your host today. On the off chance that you don't know about CSIA, we are a global nonprofit trade association with over 500 member companies in 35 countries. For system integrator members, the CSIA best practices manual and CSIA certification are some of the more popular member benefits, but you will also enjoy a variety of others, including professional development, learning from your peers, and access to professional services experts, including insurance, financial, and legal, who understand the SI's unique business needs. For partner members, CSIA offers an ecosystem to grow your SI programs, understand your customers' pain points, monitor industry trends, and share your thought leadership. With thousands of qualified integrators and suppliers, the CSIA Industrial Automation, Automation Exchange helps SIs, industry suppliers, and manufacturers connect and do business. For SI partners, uh, for SIs and partners, it provides a platform to support your content and SEO marketing efforts, position yourself as a thought leader, and nurture prospects during their complicated buyer's journey. The good news is, this is actually the best time of the year to join because of, as of October 1, companies that join will get the rest of 2021 as well as all of 2022 included in their membership dues and any exchange upgrades or packages. That's basically like three months free. You can get all the details at www.controlsys.org slash shine. And now it's time for the presentation. Ready guys, take it away. Thanks, John. So this is Eric. And first of all, welcome and good morning to everybody. Um, I am a senior business development executive and joining me and, and really the meat of the presentation is going to come from Chris Taylor, our hardware product and program manager, and John Stratton, our software product and program manager. Uh, I'm going to kick things off just to introduce the company a little bit, let you know who's talking and what our view on the world is and where we're coming from and then we'll hand it to the guys for the meat of the content. So uh, who is Freeway? Uh, as you can see, a multi-radio edge compute platform with gateways, edge data analytics, and applications. So what does that really mean? Uh, what it means is with the multi-radio edge compute platform and the analytics and applications, we empower our customers and partners to build IIoT solutions that provide data from assets anywhere they exist. Long, low power, long range IIoT connectivity with an intelligent edge. And you're gonna hear more about that as we move forward. So the company is almost 30 years old, as you can see, um, founded in Boulder, Colorado. And this is really important. Um, all of our design support and manufacturing is done in Boulder. So um, we are a USA backed company. Um, and really that's a, that's a really important thing that I, I wanna make sure everybody understands. ISO 9001, and again, the highest quality, uh, over 3,000 customers in 39 countries, literally millions of radios that have been uh, deployed throughout our history, and we're known as the number one support company uh, in, in the markets that we serve. So speaking of those, as you might have guessed, uh, with our legacy uh, of radios, um, it's outdoor uh, applications for the most part. Um, although now we're starting to see a lot more plant floor and uh, SCADA that uh, doesn't involve outdoor uh, applications, but government and defense, oil and gas, water and wastewater, uh, these are historically some of the best industries for us. So one of the things I wanted to start out with was uh, really define edge computing as we see it and what, how we're going to be referring to uh, edge computing today. Uh, compared with how you may have heard from other folks. So um, there's some folks that are sort of talking about kind of the idea of edge computing is move your workload. So take the same applications that you would normally run in a data center or a control room or some other location and then move that move it further out uh, onto the edge of the network. So perhaps in a plant floor in a cabinet on a DIN rail. Um, but again, you're basically running the same applications doing the same things just doing it in a different location. But when we talk about edge first, 
Um, we're talking about getting data, as I mentioned, from any asset, anywhere it exists, processing that data at the edge before passing it into the network, performing logic and utilizing applications at the edge with or without the cloud. And then now implementing new network designs with publish and subscribe instead of pull response. And if you're using pull response, you're using it at the edge. So you're freeing up uh, bandwidth as I think John will touch on later. So we think our version of edge is really a game changer when you think about digital transformation, IIoT, industry 4.0, all the latest buzzwords. But what we're really talking about is getting more data into the network. So we've got a few slides here that I think will summarize what uh, the details that uh, you're going to hear from Chris and John here as we move forward. But the fundamental architecture that we talk about is, first of all, utilizing our edge compute uh, radios uh, and having them tap into some asset, again, doing, doing data analysis and moving it through our uh, FreeWave uh, software platform and then enabling uh, connectivity to a cloud application or a SCADA uh, or some other uh, application. Um, so that's kind of the basic framework that we think of. But then we can build on that uh, and add in, instead of just having the radios directly connecting, now we have the ability to now deploy sensors and pull in data from sensors, uh, Wi-Fi devices, Bluetooth devices, uh, and also, again, process that data at the edge to feed your SCADA and your other applications that you're working with. The last thing I'll mention, um, we're going to get into the weeds a little bit with the technology uh, based on that architecture I just described. But the other thing that we're really doing that's kind of neat now is we are also packaging the solutions. So you can basically just take the kit, deploy it, and utilize uh, as, as a full solution. So tank level monitoring, pump lift station, streaming video, you see the options here. And we're constantly adding to this suite. So this is a real growth area, and we're always looking for uh, other opportunities. So as you listen to this presentation, if you see applications for our solutions, we'd love to hear from you because we are trying to be very responsive to our partners and our customers. And with that, I'm going to pass the baton over to Chris. And uh, you'll hear from, from Chris. Thanks, Eric. Hi, I'm Chris Taylor. I'm the hardware product line manager here at uh, FreeWave. And today I'll be introducing you to the FreeWave Fusion platform. Uh, next slide, please. So in Eric's architecture slide, uh, it displayed three uh, of our products, the Fusion, the Zoom Link, and the Zoom Edge. The Fusion is our newest addition to the FreeWave product line, and it is a hardware configurable multi-radio device. It is our first uh, hardware configurable product and it is designed to be configurable to the needs of any IoT solution. Next slide, please. So this is a diagram of a potential complex IoT system environment and all its components. Uh, on one end, on the left, the southbound side, uh, there are devices in need of connectivity. So that's equipment, sensors, SCADA devices, uh, with all the varying requirements around connectivity and protocols, wired versus wireless, industry protocols versus open protocols. Uh, moving a little bit northbound, the next layer northbound, uh, on the edge, at the edge layer, uh, there needs to be opportunities for edge intelligence and network management. So uh, programs running on the edge device that process the data coming in from those devices. Further on the network layer, there are different requirements for radio connectivity, all based on the environment uh, and the equipment. So cellular range, uh, global satellite connectivity, local area networks. And currently the standard solution for a system like this, uh, regardless of industry, looks like a collection of different devices. So each device will offer a, a part of the solution for the full system integration and systems integrators end up with these large hard to maintain uh, systems. Uh, and that's where Fusion comes in. Next slide, please. So the Freeway Fusion platform is designed to encapsulate all of the tools and features needed at the edge. It's configured to uh, fulfill particular device and environmental requirements, uh, regardless of the environment or the system. So the device can be configured with IO and protocol requirements, intelligence services, networking features, and communication hardware required to connect any device, sensor, or equipment 
all in a unified system, all with a single form factor, regardless of configuration. So this diagram illustrates the vision for the freeway fusion platform. Uh, the platform is configurable with up to two radios, uh, different levels of compute capability, and a wide range of IO options and protocol adapters. Uh, the first supported configuration of this platform, the FreeWave Wi-Fi bridge, released in May of this year. And now with the platform stable, uh, we're adding support for more radios and compute options uh, as modules for configurations. So to demonstrate the value of this configurability, this is an example or a diagram of a uh, example complex system. Uh, the, the Fusion can integrate into legacy systems to upgrade them, or can create entirely new self-contained networks uh, with complex requirements. So as an example, in this system, there are five different kinds of equipment and sensors. Some are wired, some are wireless uh, through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And the Fusion Bridge can bring all these devices onto the same system and connect them to the same cloud. So in this case, uh, the, the devices are connected to the Fusion platform. Uh, and on the northbound side, a cellular satellite and a local 900 megahertz network all connect to the same cloud endpoint or data repository. So this is, this is all to demonstrate that the Fusion platform is very flexible around those environmental requirements what radio bears are available in the area and can be integrated with local area radio networks that have a uh, low to no operating costs. So moving to the edge layer of that network system, another feature of the Fusion uh, is the edge processing capability. Uh, the Fusion houses an ARM-based compute platform that is configurable based on user requirements and uh, FreeWave offers an edge intelligence software tool called FreeWave Edge, which Sean will introduce later in the presentation. Uh, but for OEMs and other customers that, that may need custom intelligence, the device runs a Debian Linux uh, environment with container support, allowing users to fully integrate the devices uh, into their systems with their exact requirements. So this is for OEMs, uh, customers who want to build this into a larger system, uh, there is an open, easy to use system to configure these and program custom intelligence uh, and automation. And finally, uh, on the network side of the stack, uh, the multi radio configurability of this device, uh, of this platform, allows for networking features that allow systems to communicate across disparate networks, uh, including intelligent network management options where data is critical. So users and integrators have full flexibility around uh, bridging one radio type to another, creating always connected high availability systems for critical applications with critical data, and creating low cost local networks that would previously be disconnected from other distributed assets in the field. Next slide, please. So that is kind of a peek into the Fusion platform, uh, what it's capable of doing. This is a sneak peek of our feature integration roadmap, uh, our plans to support devices on the Fusion platform. So support is already available for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and FreeWave 900 megahertz network, networks, uh, as well as base level compute and protocol adapters for the widely used SCADA equipment. Uh, product, projects are currently in flight, uh, to release support for satellite and cellular radios, uh, both, both 4G, LTE, and LTEM uh, by the end of the year. And LoRa, private cellular, and 5G support are all top priority for 2022. Uh, we are also developing support for more compute variants, uh, as well as support for AI and machine learning hard accelerator hardware, which will allow us to build solution packages to solve old problems in new and novel ways. So that's our Fusion platform. Uh, our goal is to provide a configurable device that can be configured to any user's system needs. Uh, but that's just the hardware. FreeWave also offer, offers edge intelligence software and tools that uh, greatly expand the platform's feature, uh, features that allow us to package full solutions for customers. And so on that note, I'll turn it over to John Stratton, FreeWave Software Product Line Manager. John?
All right, thank you, Chris. And uh, good morning, everybody. So I'm John Stratton, Product Line Manager for Software at FreeWave, and looking forward to uh, presenting and working with you today. So to kick things off, I wanna tell a little bit of a data story from a customer perspective of today, you know, they have their, their assets in the field at the edge on the left side of the diagram. They have a cloud or SCADA system on the right side of the diagram. And you know, at, as everyone on the call knows well, you know, there's a lot of challenges in getting data to and from those systems. You have to piece it together and you know, maybe the data gets there, maybe it doesn't. So with FreeWave, what we enable with the Fusion and the FreeWave Edge is we work with raw data at the edge, whether that's pull response with industrial protocols or Bluetooth beacons or other sensors. And then we enable the high availability data delivery over the combination of networks that you just heard about from Chris. And we enable valuable edge processed information to go to and from the SCADA or cloud system. So whether that's with FreeWave Edge or with your own uh, OEM or SI chosen or developed applications that are running at the edge, we wanna provide that data in a more valuable, more processed way uh, between the edge and the cloud. So how do we do that? Uh, we have a, a couple options. And the first one I wanna highlight is the edge application environment. So this runs on the ARM CPU architecture and the Debian Linux environment. So for both the, the edge intelligence and the hybrid networking capabilities, we have the edge application environment, uh, which is a Linux environment where you can deploy or develop your own applications at the edge, whether that's a Python app, a Docker container, or uh, something that already exists in the Linux world, it can run on the Fusion. Uh, the, the other integration option we have is with our API. So all of our networking and device configuration and also the FreeWave Edge data processing is configurable via APIs. So uh, if you have a special configuration you would like or a special proprietary data set you would like to work with, uh, we have the options for you to inject that into the system and make it your own. And now on the edge data processing, we're gonna talk about uh, FreeWave Edge. So FreeWave Edge has uh, three main components. Uh, the, the data inputs, the edge data processing, moving from left to right, and the data publishers. So when we talk about moving to poll response at the edge, we do that with the, the data inputs. So we support uh, Modbus, oil and gas industry flow computers, uh, the IO on FreeWave hardware, and also uh, Bluetooth beacons. With the, with the edge data processing, uh, we add store and forward alerting and analytics and real-time publishing over any of those networks we talked about. So whether it's a radio network, a satellite network, a cellular network, we can get any of that data to the SCADA system or to the cloud system, uh, depending on you know, the needs of the customer and the needs of your uh, SI SI service for that customer. So this really saves some money, saves uh, time in data collection, and makes it so you can retrieve data that was previously inaccessible. And again, this runs on our Fusion hardware. So this provides the hardware, the connectivity, and the edge data processing all in one box, all in one source. And I wanted to highlight one of our customers we have worked with. So this is our highlighted case study from Faulkner Energy. So uh, they're an existing customer of FreeWaves and we're struggling with having slow response to issues that occurred in the field 
and having really high monthly expenses from a third party alarming system. Uh, they are using the ABB Total Flow, which is a very popular oil and gas flow computer. So they have you know, several hundred uh, oil production wells in the Texas area. And how, how did Freeway Veg help Faulkner Energy? So we, number one, provided reduced costs. So this uh, running on the FreeWave hardware with the FreeWave Edge software, it reduced their monthly service costs and it reduced their impact on uh, labor costs. So instead of driving around or waiting to know when an issue was reported, they're notified proactively with the alarming capability and they have more instantaneous data reporting. So it really saves on uh, travel time and labor and makes that more efficient. And it saves on their monthly fees compared to their existing system. And it improves the, the, data, the data collection. So they have a simplified deployment. They have nearly real-time data on their operations. So that enables faster decision-making and proactive decision-making. And so, so how, how did we do that with FreeWave Edge? So here we show some of the data challenges you might have with a uh, over-the-air centralized poll and response system. So we've got our PLCs and field devices on the left and our SCADA system on the right. And the SCADA system's asking, what's the pressure, what's the pressure? And the PLC's reporting, hey, it's the same as last time. And let's say we're trying to update this every 30 minutes for this example. If the SCADA system asks what's the pressure and there's no connection, there's no response to that poll, which means lost data. And, and say we take a second example 15 minutes later and there's a, there's a pressure spike out in the field. So there's no, no poll at that time. So that's also lost data. And uh, what we've heard from customers is that lost data directly impacts the bottom line in many ways, whether that's production efficiencies, whether that's fine fines because you can't report data in your regulatory reports, lost data definitely affects the bottom line. So with FreeWave Fusion and FreeWave Edge, what we do is we put a freeway fusion device or freeway device in the middle. And now we're doing our pull response at the edge. So if that lost connection happens, we have the capability, depending on your number of sensors and tags, depending on your polling interval, to store many, many weeks of data in our database at the edge. So this is an example if you've got 25 sensors or tags, a 30 second update rate, we are supporting three plus weeks of storage. So plenty of storage for you to get out to the field, fix the issue and still get your data. Uh, as soon as that connection is restored, we are publishing that history. Uh, you know, it, it's the history of the past three weeks. Uh, going out you know, very efficiently over the air. So you're getting more data for less bandwidth in your over the air network, whether that's radio or cellular or satellite. And then in our last example here, we've got, what's the pressure? Oh, the pressure's up a bit. Well, we have alerting capability. So even if it's not time to send data for store and forward, you know, even if um, you know, with the, the data is being stored, we're still immediately sending a pressure alert uh, for that customer. And the way that's set up for Faulkner is they have uh, emails and text messages uh, integrated with their, their own Office 365 or their own email server. And they also give, uh, get text messages going out via the, the cell carriers. So most of the cell carriers you may or may not know have a phone number at carrier.com. And so they're getting 
immediate alerts in email form and text message form when there's issues in the field. So uh, a couple highlights, uh, we would invite you to go to our YouTube page and view a free wave edge demo and view some other videos about our additional products. Uh, the, so it's a, uh, a pretty short, you know, five or so minute video by me that is a direct walkthrough of what we just talked about. And so uh, with, with FreeWave Edge, uh, sharing a little view of our roadmap here, available now, we've got Modbus, the IO, and the oil and gas flow computers and Bluetooth capability with the Fusion Bridge. So we uh, are working with a Bluetooth vendor that you know, brings in additional sensors into that, that hardware and software ecosystem. Uh, edge data publishing, we can publish to many of the existing SCADA systems that are out there and also cloud IoT platforms that are out there, uh, notably AWS and ThingsBoard. And for data processing today, we have the the storage, the data publishing, and the alerting capability. But we are definitely working on expanding this. And uh, we definitely would like your feedback as we expand, both on hardware and software. If you're looking at this and saying, oh, I really wish FreeWave could do X, definitely be in touch. Uh, some of the high priority things on our list are Allen Bradley Ethernet IP, uh, looking at OPC and DNP3 for other protocols, uh, looking at Azure and Google for cloud services, and adding logic and controls and analytics and AI and ML applications uh, deployed in that edge software environment. So uh, we, we have talked about a lot of information today and wanted to uh, wrap it up with the overall, overall ecosystem. So uh, coming, coming left to right here, we've got our industrial edge equipment. We've got protocols and sensors. So we can read in data over you know, many different connectivity types, whether it's wired or wireless from FreeWave pre-certified sensors, so those solutions that Eric mentioned uh, from uh, additional partners of ours, from industry protocols, so Modbus and the others, or uh, OEM, SI, and partner sensors. So if you have a sensor you would like to bring in, we can definitely work with you on a quick integration project to bring that into our ecosystem. On the connectivity and edge software side, we've got our uh, short range connectivity on the left, the, the wired, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, all available now. In the software world, we've got the app development, the FreeWave Edge data capabilities. And again, we have that Linux environment. So if you have your own application or an application you'd like to run, uh, you can deploy that on the FreeWave Fusion software environment and still take advantage of all the connectivity types we have to offer. On the uh, longer range side, we've got the 900 megahertz and satellite available and the cellular coming soon. And then we can publish that data to any cloud or SCADA system, any cloud IoT, any SCADA system. Uh, and if you look at FreeWave in the news or our LinkedIn page, uh, you'll also see we've recently announced a joint venture with Modusense, which will enable us to build additional applications uh, on the, the cloud side in the future. And so to, to wrap things up here, we are going to open it up for questions and feedback. And we would also like to make available an eval offer. So if you're thinking you, know, you might be interested in this solution or you have additional questions for us, we'll take some Q&A now via the Zoom chat. 
And you can also contact Eric uh, via LinkedIn or via his contact information that's right here. And uh, we will, you know, really looking forward to working with you. And with that, um, Eric, I'll turn it over to you for any additional questions or wrap up. Sounds good. We've got one uh, question here already in the Q&A section, and I've received a few here uh, as well via text. So, um, so the first question here uh, is, do you find applications in construction site, uh, at construction sites? And then can the edge processing, can the edge process RTK positioning? Um, I'll deal with the first half of that. Actually, uh, John just made mention of a partnership we have with a company that um, we've uh, certified their Bluetooth sensors and their focus is actually construction sites. So we have uh, a, a really a plug and play solution uh, that is of course customizable, but uh, that's a target market that we are gonna be uh, going after quite a bit because we have a very unique value proposition for those, for those uh, situations. So I think that that's, uh, if, if, I, if I could have asked for a, a better Q and A uh, starter question, that's perfect. You teed me up uh, very well. Um, you know, John, do you want to deal with the second half of that in regards to RTK and so on? Yeah, so, so, so actually uh, RTK radio support has been one of FreeWave's core product in the radio line for our 20 plus year company history. So many of the equipment manufacturers are using FreeWave radios for RTK and with that Linux environment, uh, you can uh, deploy dis additional GPS related applications. Uh, and I should also highlight uh, with the uh, satellite option, there is also a, a GPS embedded in that satellite option for the freeway fusion. And of course, there's uh, other GPS receivers out there on the market that can output Modbus or other formats and uh, we can work on reading those in also. Awesome, thank you. Uh, I got another question here that's uh, basically asking how flexible we are uh, in, with the Fusion product. You know, Chris, you mentioned that we're we're sort of looking at at uh, other other ways and other features that we can integrate. So, um, if somebody has a custom use case that they're looking for uh, something very specific, uh, do you want to talk about uh, you know what we do in those situations? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we are certainly interested in. Custom solutions, uh, custom configurations for the Fusion line. We are currently working with uh, a client that is an OEM client that is building uh, the Fusion into their system. And we worked hand in hand with them to get their intelligence and programming on the device as well as the radio configurations that need, were needed. So uh, not only will we, uh, are we uh, willing to work on custom solutions, uh, for uh, client systems, but also just talking about uh, the custom systems, it, even if the client, uh, we don't have exactly what they want or what the, uh, what the user needs in terms of the technology, we are running the projects to integrate new radios and devices on the Fusion constantly. Uh, and if there is something that we do not offer, uh, whether or not it works for that customer, we will roll their requirements into our design projects. So we can very quickly bring up these devices. And if we don't have what uh, the customer needs now, we will pull those uh, requirements in to our projects and have what they need soon. Awesome, thank you. Uh, I just got another question, uh, John, about the, you, you brought up ModuSense. Do you wanna talk a little bit more about what, what that uh, joint venture brings to the table and, and how that might help the uh, SIs that are on the uh, call today? Uh, yeah, so, so it was recently announced, and ModuSense is a partner of ours, uh, joint venture, and they bring uh, both a, a cloud side and uh, some additional sensors and solutions to the table. Uh, they actually got their start in uh, beekeeping, and uh, beekeeping, you know, you need to uh, know things about, you know, the the health of, health of the bees and that sort of thing. And they, they have a, a sensor that uh, works with um, the beehive. They have a weather station and we're also building out the, the data side. So if you are 
you know, looking for additional options on the cloud or data processing in the cloud before it goes out to different customer systems. That's what uh, the joint venture with Modusense brings to the table. Excellent, excellent. I'll invite uh, one more chance here. If anybody has anything that they would like to ask in the Q and A, uh, we would be happy to deal with that. We're we're doing pretty well on time, as you can tell. Uh, and if not, I've, I've never met anybody that uh, minded if a, a meeting went a little short, but uh, uh, nobody wants them to run long. But we're happy to stick around and answer any more questions if anyone has. And if not, I think we will adjourn. Thanks, guys. We've just got a couple of slides left to kind of wrap up on our end. Sandra's going to put them up for me. Very good. Maybe I'll just go without slides. <laughs> On behalf of CSIA, I would like to thank Eric, John, and Chris for the informative discussion. I'd also like to thank Free Wave Technologies for sponsoring this event. And of course, thank you for attending. I would also like to remind you that a recording will be available for viewing within the next couple of days. Be sure to bookmark the CSIA events calendar so you don't miss any upcoming events. This concludes our program for today. Once again, thank you for joining us and have a great day.